So yeah, hi guys. So, hey guys, and in this particular video, we are going to understand how we can dockerize our Django application and uh, what are the things that we are going to understand. So first of all, you should have Docker installed on your system. If you don't have Docker installed, you can directly go on Docker and you can just directly download this Docker exe file. If you are on like Windows, if you are on like Ubuntu, Mac, you can directly download over Docker. It's very simple. You just have to download and run the exe file for Windows. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, let's see like what we are going to understand in this particular video and what's the agenda of this video so first of all we will see uh, how we can dockerize our django application okay and uh let me pick the pen first and we are going to see how we can pull redis image and how we can pull rabbit mq image and how you can easily like run redis and rabbit mq at the same time this is our main agenda and the best part is we are going to pull all these images like redis rabbit mq and you can pull any image like most of the images are available on chain guard and we are going to pull all the images from chain guard instead of docker hub. let me tell you like why we are pulling images from chain guard so first of all the problem with docker hub is anyone can like publish their images and you, you can download it uh, but doc like the images that are pushed on docker up that can have a lot of vulnerability so if you are developing an application that requires a lot of security and you are like you it's in your mind that your application should not get any vulnerability or your main agenda is about security then you can pull direct images from chain guard so chain guard provides official images plus the images are security tight and these are like checked every you can say in a in, in a time like they are checked and they are updated chain guard images and also they have a support system let's say you are facing any problem in the image they will directly uh, assign you a support system then you can easily like you can say uh, fix your problem if you have if you're like facing any problem so this is one of the best part and it's very easy to pull images from chain guard so let me show you uh, let me show you how we can pull so this is like the chain guard official website and if you want to like download the images you can go on chain guard dot dev products then you can go on chain guard images then go on, click on view images once you do do this you can directly see like what are the images available let's say i want to install like kafka images or you can say i want to download rabbit mq image then i can directly search rabbit mq and this will show me how we can how we can like directly download the images okay and uh, you can say docker pull cgr.dev chain guard rabbit mq and you can download the latest images latest dev, dev image if you want to like debug anything and there are like multiple versions of image that you can pull if depend on your application and all these images are like uh you can say vulnerability proofs you can say in vulnerability you can see like there are any this image is free of cve that is kind of a vulnerability okay now uh let's uh, go in our application you can say main python application here you can directly see let me close all these tabs so it, this is like a very basic django application and it has like uh, dj docker is a main project and manage.py there is a file now we are going to create a docker file and uh, to doc create a docker file you just like docker file okay now we have the docker site first to like run the python we what we should have we should have python install in our application because we are using docker so we have to install python in our system or you can say in a container so we are going to install from python 3.10 uh, slash slim so it's a python version it's a like basic image image where you can get the basic functionality of python all these stuff are there then what we have to do is we have to like copy all the you can say if there's like a lot of apps are there then we have to copy this entire directory into our main container file okay so for that i'm going to write a command that is called as copy and here we have to write the source def destination the source is the current directory for current directory we just type dot and the destination directory is slash app so we are going to load all the files which are in uh, this particular folder into a container then what we have to do is we have to assign a working directory then the working directory will be slash app because we have copied all the files in from this directory to the app container now container directory so now what we have to do is we have to like copy our requirement.txt file so uh, how we can copy this requirement.txt file we just have to like type dot slash and we have to first mention this requirement.txt file requirements dot txt file then we have to run the uh, you can say current directory okay then what we have to do is we have to run this uh, requirement.txt file then we are going to write like pip install hyphen r of requirement.txt now everything is set up we just have to like copy everything to the current directory copy source is current destination is also 
current now now what we have to do is we just have to like create this requirement.txt file here and here we can mention uh, all the things that are required so currently we are using django so first we have to mention django so we can freeze pip freeze requirements dot txt okay now we have the requirement dot txt if you want to like remove anything you can directly remove i just want to like django so i'm just using this only other than that we can remove everything okay just like this we have to create a docker compose yml file now we are going to create a docker slash dash compose dot yml this is the main file okay let me close this uh, let's not close it make it short so first we have to assign a version which version of docker compose file you are going to use i'm going to use three version which is very popular and very stable also now we have to assign services what is services services means what are the com what are the things that are going to execute in your container and what makes your entire application so first we have to light uh, services so the first service will be a web because uh, we are going to utilize this web uh, service then we have to write build so what uh, which what thing you want to build so i want to build this current directory okay then uh, i want to like write the command which is the command to execute the server the server to run the server we are going to write like python manage.py run server and it will be like 0.0.0, .0, .0 and 8000 port number okay if you want to like change the port number you can mention it instead of 8000 we can mention the uh, 5000 in volumes what i'm going to do it's like loading your application uh, like into uh, loading your current directory into a docker container directory so for this what i'm going to do is uh, dash uh, dot colon of app okay now what we are going to do is we have to assign a ports so ports will be like uh, 8000 of 8000 now we have to write a dependency so this application depends on two things the first one is rabbitmq the next one is redis so i have to uh, deploy depends on the first service is redis now the next one is rabbitmq rabbitmq okay now we have to create the environment so environment will be like name and value so first like redis host redis underscore of host then the next one is redis okay and the next one is port so the post port is redis so redis runs on 6379 so we have to mention that 6379 6379 and the next one is rabbitmq so rabbitmq underscore of host that is rabbitmq then we have to assign a port and rabbitmq uses 456472 then we have to pull the images because currently like how you can get the redis image because we are not going to install directly docker will install everything so here we have to mention redis okay then uh, image and image we are going to pull from uh, this uh, chain guard so we can just go here and type redis this is a redis image and we can just copy cgr chain guard redis then this one cgr.dev okay so image cgr.dev and chain guard redis and we can pull the latest image so here you can find the latest image okay then what we have to do is the next image will be of uh, here we can mention ports also because ports 60 we can copy 6379 of 6379 okay now what we have to do is we have to create the volumes if it's not like mandatory because if you want to like lo load entire image to the container it's like much much easier or it's a great thing okay now let's name our volume it's like redis let's give a space we can volume the name like redis data and we can call in this data okay now what we have to do is we have to do the same for rabbit mq so rabbit mq and uh, image we can directly pull image we can directly pull from uh, this chain guard so here we are going to type rabbit mq uh, here we can type rabbit mq and to pull the rabbit mq image this is the uh, thing so here we can mention rabbit mq now what we have to do is we have to mention the port and the volumes and we can copy this we can paste this and the port is uh, there are like two ports first one is five six seven two five six seven two next one is 
what you can just copy this paste this and this next one is 15672 15672 and so same we can do this for volumes it will be like rabbit mq okay now what we have to do is we just have to like mention all the volumes that we are going to use now the volume is uh, redis data and the next volume is rabbit mq data now our like uh, docker compose file is also ready so now let's build our image so we are going to type like docker uh, hyphen compose and build mm, docker compose validating okay so we have to go and compose we have missed something we can go in like docker compose yml okay so in volume it should be like uh, uh, like name and colon okay so now rebuild our image docker compose build and now you can see like it has it is pulling image uh, pull ha it has like pulled the python image and it's installing python Mm, running uh, requirement.txt now i think the build is done now we can go and here we can go in container images we have dj docker web now let's uh, compose up so docker compose up now redis you can see like redis is pulling rabbit mq is pulling it's pulling directly from chain guard okay and uh, redis is pulled uh, rabbit mq it's pulling so it will like take a little time so now our uh, docker compose is up now our docker container is also running and now you can see like we have uh, successfully e uh, executing like two services the first one is redis you can access this on 6379 port and the next one is rabbit mq and our django application is also running we can open uh, in localhost of 8000 here you can see our Django application is also running and our RabbitMQ server, everything is running. Now you can utilize this RabbitMQ and you can utilize this Redis also. And same applies to, uh, if you want to like pull any other images, you can directly check this chain guard and you can find a lot of images are there. You can find AI images also uh, uh, there. CI CD pipeline images are also there. And for development, there are also like a lot of images that you can pick. And uh, for this code, the code is also in GitHub. You can check if you want to like use this. The link is in, in the description section. Meet you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.